So you have yourself a nice little animation, but you don't know how to render it out. Well, today I'll show you how to render out your animation. Let's get into it immediately. I'm gonna jump to the first frame of my animation and I'll go into my output properties. So this is the resolution, which means that this is the dimensions, or rather these are the dimensions that your animation will be exported into. Uh, frame start, frame end means the duration of your animation. Frame rate, it's 24 by default, but I do suggest you work in 30. Uh, most platforms use 30 now. And then we have this, the output. So by default, it's set to PNG, uh, but you also have AVJPEG, AVRAW, FFMPEG video. So you might be wondering why wouldn't we be exporting in a video format directly? We prefer to export in PNG or rather image sequences because if there's any interruptions, you can basically restart from the point your animation got blocked. Now, in terms of color depth compression, color, if you are exporting something that has uh, alpha, meaning it's transparent. So if I go into my rendered view, you see these squares, this mesh right here. This means that everything is transparent. So I would need to export it with a alpha, so RGBA. Otherwise, you can go just strictly with an RGB. Color depth, by default, I go with 16, since I'm also working in DaVinci for the final video stuff. So I just leave it at 16. The compression I've tried many times at zero, at 100, at 50, and there's barely any noticeable difference. So by default, I just drop it to zero and you're ready. So you want to press F12 and F12 is just going to render one single frame of your animation right now. So this one took about four seconds. So when you're thinking about animation stuff, you also need to take into account, are there any ways of optimizing your scene. Uh, if you're interested in how to optimize your scene for rendering, check out this video that's on the top of the screen and in the description where I talk more about optimizing your renders. This is just strictly a simple setup right now. But we want to have a complete image sequence. We do that by selecting our temp, so our output. This means it's going to be stored in your temporary folder. But I suggest you click on the file and then find a, let's say, directory where you usually set up your, let's say, projects. So I'm going to click on the create new directory. This brings a new folder. I'm going to name him planet. I'm going to click on that folder and then I'm going to name down below my file as planet. So now if I want to start rendering this out, I press control F12 and this is going to start rendering out my animation as a sequence. So when it finishes, it just continues with the next frame. And you can see it's starting to work down there on the bottom. You can also do this by just going into render and then you have render image render animation here on top, but control F12, it's going to be enough. But now we've stopped the animation somewhere in between, we don't know where we are. So one way that you can mitigate that, you can click on your folder and you can check how many frames were made. So we have frame 0003. So it means we need to continue from frame 0004 or four in our case. So I can correct the start instead of one to be four. Now, when I press control F12, it's gonna start from four. Okay, as you can see, our animation has rendered out completely from frame one to frame 200. We have these nice PNGs with alpha transparency, everything worked out correctly. Now it's time to render them out as a video. And for that, I use DaVinci Resolve. So DaVinci Resolve, you can get it for free. Just Google DaVinci Resolve, download it, set it up, and you'll be greeted by this exact window. Now I want to import my image sequence. So I'm going to go into media. I'm going to find the folder that I was working in. So in my case, it was, I think, personal projects and it's going to be planet your animation it's already prepped as an image sequence and if you press play you can see that it's a video it's playing fine there's no skipping or whatever you can just pull it drag it into your clips and then go into cut and drag this into your cut bay or timeline in edit 
you can do any sort of cutting or whatever. I just want to show you why we did the alpha so you can see how you can apply it for your own project. You can just click and drag this video up and then put in, so click and drag a solid color. Just going to drag that one up until the end. Click on that solid color and then pull it to be, let's say, I'm just going to set it to be white or maybe we can set up a blue. So it means that it's transparent. So everything you put in the back, it's going to be visible in the whole video. In order for us to deliver this, meaning to render out, you just click on this deliver icon and now we can set up all that we need to render out our final video. So before we do that, I'm going to go under file project settings. And in these project settings, you can see something here that's a bit out of whack. So it's in ultra HD. Now it's very important to know at which resolution you were rendering out your animation. We've rendered out our animation with the resolution of 1920 by 1080. So we need to match that. You can either write it in here or just choose it from the drop down menu. You click on that, click save, and that's going to be it. I'm going to change the frame rate to be 30 because we were exporting in a 30 frames per second frame rate. And now for my format, you can see this is a strange MXF. We don't need that. I'm just going to make it a straight up MP4. So that's going to be it. Final steps are just to click on browse, then find a folder you want to save your project into, name your project. So let's say this is going to be planet like that. You can see the locations, everything, make sure that everything is working correctly and then just add to render queue and render it out. This is going to compile everything. So the image sequence and the bottom layers and everything. And now we can check out our video. Yeah, so that's it. Basically, this is the process of how to just simply render out your animation. Now you might see this noise, nothing is denoised or post-processed. So if you're interested in that, and if you're interested in how to make your renders better or more optimized faster, do check out the link in the description. And I'll also append a video on top of the screen in this one. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully this helped you out and I'll see you in the next short tutorial.